So Ben, um, with US shale gas uh, making the US industry almost competitive with the Middle East, where does that leave the chemical industry in Europe? How can it compete? Well, it, it's undeniably true that indeed uh, uh, shale gas or the developments in the gas industry in the US will give uh, quite a bit of competitive strength again to the American uh, industry. Uh, of course, we have a traditional advantage in, uh, in the Middle East, which is, which is still there. I think where Europe will need to get its strength from is from its very, very strong, uh, well-integrated clusters. Uh, and actually producing a higher grade of, uh, of petrochemicals than what typically comes out of the Middle East. Um, I think um, these clusters over the time, over the years, have been developed in things that make a lot of uh, economic and logistic sense. And I think with that, the, the European industry will very well be able to, uh, to survive. Um, I think if I look at the shell position within that, our aim has always been to make sure that within that uh, industry, we are actually uh, at the top end in terms of competitiveness. So for the shell position, I think I have even less worries than for the European industry position. Um, is there any further rationalisation of your assets in Europe from a chemical perceptive theft? We will always be looking at, uh, at, at little things around the edges, but we will be looking at uh, perhaps shutting down or rationalising small bits and pieces of capacity, much in the same way as we will be looking at adding at it. Because also our heartlands are, uh, are important centres of profitability that need to be maintained in future investment. Uh, so we will, you will continue to see further investment into our chemical portfolio in mature areas like North America and Europe. Uh, the larger uh, structural uh, portfolio changes that we had uh, years ago is something of the past. Okay. Uh, are there any threats from regulation to the industry in Europe? I think sort of going back to the point that you made earlier about threats from competitive pressures outside, uh, I'd almost say that uh, uh, the, the threats from within are of an, a, a similar if not higher magnitude. Uh, we have a lot of things going on in Europe, uh, ETS coming in. Uh, I think we, we, we are in the zone where we can come up with a, with a very workable solution. But if in the end the game is going to be driving these clusters apart, I think uh, we will put the industry at great risk in Europe. Uh, that doesn't need to be the case. Uh, I think that the system that we are currently working on uh, based on benchmarking is a system that can work and can make and maintain this industry a very vibrant and relevant one, uh, but we, we have to work together, industry regulated, to make sure that this actually works out as intended. And are you comfortable with the way REACH is progressing, the shell chemicals? Uh, acutely speaking, uh, yes, and of course right in the ramp-up period where we will be uh, uh, submitting, uh, and I think we are at the moment about 75% complete in terms of uh, registration. So as far as shell is concerned, I'm very, very comfortable that we will be done well ahead of the deadline. Uh, how it then will work out 2011 uh, will of course be uh, something that the whole industry will be watching. We will have a tremendous volume of material in uh, into ECHA. Uh, how the next steps are going to be taken uh, I think is, uh, is something that will be, uh, will be watched by many observers including the ones inside the industry. But I, I have confidence that we will end up in a good place. Thanks Ben.